Hi guys. This is D Igoratech. Today we are going to install Cisco Layer 2 ISO image into GNS3. If you are new to my channel, please like, share, click on the bell button and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. In the previous videos, I showed you how to download and install GNS3 client, and also GNS3 VM within VMware Workstation Pro. You can check the links from the description below. Today, we are going to install the Cisco Layer 2 image into GNS3. First, you have to download the Cisco Virel image from Cisco website, or you can also download it from the link description below. We are going to install Virel image for this demonstration, although Virel have some minor issues. And comparing to IOU, Virel has higher system requirements. After downloading the file, open the GNS3 and wait for it to complete the startup process. Wait for the local server and GNS3 VM to turn green. Once ready, click on Browse Switches. Select the plus sign or new template. Install an appliance from the GNS3 server which is recommended. Click Next. Expand the switches. Select the Cisco IOS VL2. You can see the emulator is Camu and vendor is Cisco. Click on Install. You will notice that only install the appliance on the GNS3 VM is available since we don't have a remote server. Click on Next. We will leave the Camu binary as default. Click Next. In this window, you can see the versions available. We are going to install the iOS VL2 version 15.2.1 which is the one we downloaded. You can see that the file is missing so we have to manually import the file. Click Import. Locate the downloaded file. You must double check the file name. Compare if it matched the file name and version that we are going to install. Once confirmed, click Open. It will now import the file. Once completed you will see the status is changed to ready to install. Click on Next. Select Yes to proceed with the installation. It will show you that there is no default password enabled and no default configuration present. Click Finish. The appliance has been successfully created. Click OK. You will notice that the Cisco IOS VL2 version 15.2.1 has been created. Now. We are going to create a very simple topology just to test the Cisco switch. Click on File, New Black Project. We will give it a name of Project Cisco. You will notice the location is Drive D which we configured in the previous video. Click OK. First thing we have to do is change the symbol. We will change it from the appliance window. This will permanently change the appliance symbol so that we don't have to change the symbol every time we use the appliance. Right click on it. Select configure template. Look for the symbol then click browse. We will use affinity circle blue. Search for switch then we will use the multi-layer switch symbol. Click OK. You can also rename it from here. Once done, click on OK. Let's now drag the Cisco switch to our workspace. We will use VPCS for testing. Click on Browse All Devices then drag to VPCS. For the server, you need to choose GNS3 VM. We need to run this two device through GNS3 VM. You can drag and drop the devices. 
Now, let's connect the devices, click on add a link, click on PC1 then click on the switch. Add also a link from switch to PC2. You can show the grid. You can also fit in view. Show interfaces labels. To power on specific device you can right click on it then select start. To power on all devices click on the start resume all nodes. Click yes to start all devices. Error. Enable KVM, unsupported machine, type PCQ3542. If you encounter this error you may perform the following steps. We will go through this one by one. First. From the Cisco appliance, remove the PCQ3542. Then turn on the Cisco appliance again, if still failed then proceed to the next step. Second. Remove the machine and PCQ3542. Third. Restart the GNS3 application. Lastly. Restart your laptop or PC. First step. Right click on the Cisco appliance. Select configure template. Advanced. Under additional settings remove the PCQ3542. Click OK. Let's test to run the Cisco appliance again. Failed. Let's proceed to the second step. Right click on the Cisco appliance again. Select Configure Template. Advanced. Under Additional Settings remove the Option Dash Machine. Click OK. Let's try to run the Cisco appliance again. Failed. Let's proceed to the next step. Reboot the computer. After reboot run the GNS3 application. Again, wait for it to complete the startup process. We will open our project earlier which is Project Cisco. Start all devices. Amazing. The Cisco appliance is now working. Now, let's open up the console for all devices. PC1 did not open, we can open it manually. I will right click on PC1 then select console. We can now see the three devices. Let's check first the switch. Enable to enter privileged exec mode. By default, no password. Let's check the interfaces. Show IP interface brief. You will notice that the gigabit ethernet 0 and 1 are up since we connected the two VPCS. Now, let's configure the IP address of PC2 and PC1. For PC1 we will assign IP address 10.1.1.1 with a subnet of slash 24. For PC2 we will assign IP address 10.1.1.2 with the same subnet slash 24. Now, let's try to ping. If everything is working fine then they should be able to ping each other. Let's first ping PC2 from PC1. Ping 10.1.1.2 Success! We are able to reach PC2. 
Now, let's ping PC1 from PC2. Ping 10.1.1.1 Success. Both device can talk to each other. Well, that's all for today's demonstration. In the next video, we are going to install Cisco Layer 3 Varel image. I really hope you like this video and please support my channel to grow. Thank you for watching. Please like the video, share, click on the bell button and please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and see you in the next video.